Today I am looking forward to discuss different components of extrinsic effort. To start with say if you are a student who is interested in STEM program then for sure you should be part of the math club in your high school and take part in different math competition through your school like AMC 10, 12, Math Olympiad and lot more. You can see lot of math competition on the screen. You do not have to take part in all of them. As you are running out of time, you need to choose your battle. How do we select the right competition for us? I would say go online and look at some sample question papers. Draft the competition that is way too easy for you and save the aggressive ones for future and attack the ones that are little above your expectation so that you not only have a learning experience but also you have a good chance of getting awarded. If you are interested in a particular university and if they conduct a math competition then in your best interest I will urge you to take part in those competition. For example Princeton University, MIT, Harvard, John Hopkins, Stanford they do have math competition. Though you see lot of math competition listed on the screen Still, this is not a comprehensive list. So I would ask you to look around and find more. With this, moving on to next screen. If you are looking forward to make a career in medical science or STEM, then science project and competition is very critical. Maybe you can start doing projects in middle school and it's not too early at all. I would recommend Broadcam Masters for middle school student and First Lego League and first robotic competition for middle school and high school student. Kaggle has various competition in data science. This may be little too advanced for high school students but still you can learn a lot from it. I do not have to say a lot about Regeneron as it offers one of the most prestigious competition in the country. Now talking about different types of experiment by environment and research condition. The first one is in vivo, study within a living organism. It could be an animal, human or even a plant. The second one is in vitro, where you study outside of a living organism. It could be in a petri plate. And the third one is computer simulation or data science analysis. This is my favorite as you can do this right out of your home and you do not have to invest in a laboratory. Now moving on to the next slide. Once you are done with your science or math project or even computer simulation or data science model, you can present this project at Broadcam Master, Regeneron or any other competition. Now talking about paper presentation, it is not as challenging as we think. Above all, there are lots of journals specifically for high school kids like Young Scientist Journal from Vanderbilt, Stanford Intersect which is run by undergraduate students at Stanford and STEM Fellowship Journal which is run by Canadian Science Publishing. Well, here is a trick for you. Give your best shot to as many competition and paper presentation as possible so that you have a higher chance of getting recognized. Finally, whether you are interested in liberal arts, law or even science, it does not matter. Consider publishing a book or even Consider publishing an article in a journal. It could be on amnesty, black life matter or any other topic of your interest. And keep yourself busy in the summer with internship. Maybe in a law firm or a hospital or an engineering or an IT company. With this, let me end this video and see you in my next video soon. Thank you.